Hi there. Welcome to Michelle James Designs. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm Michelle James and I blog over at michellejdesigns.com. Mostly uh, DIY projects and today we are going to make some fun sewing. Well, we're going to be sewing and but we're going to make some wine bags for Halloween. So this is one of them. It says booze to you. So we're going to use some fabric. This is all scrap fabric that I used from, that I had from before. So I didn't spend any money on the fabric. And this is vinyl, which I actually did have. And I used uh, the Cricut to cut these out. I have a new Cricut maker, so that's fun. And then there's another one too. This is the one I'm actually going to be showing in the video, but I wanted to show both. This one says, I brought the booze. Again, with the vinyl, more scrap fabric. And so these don't cost very much if you have some scraps laying around. If not, you don't need much fabric um, to make these. They're pretty, and they're, they, they go pretty quickly when you're sewing. So I'm gonna show you guys how we did that. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here's my fabric. And I've cut these pieces and um, I've got them right sides together and I'm going to be stitching across the top. So the black piece is 11 by 16 and the um, liner piece is 11 by 17 and a half. I wanted it to, to be a little longer. So I've clipped my top and I'm going to be doing some stitching. These are the other pieces. So there's a round piece that's four and five eighths circle. And then I have my handle pieces, which includes a piece of liner and the black. And they are 13 and a half by two. So I've stitched across the top and I'm just gonna iron this down now. So I'll be right back. Here we go. So I've ironed this down and I've got a nice, um, crease there from a, for the top. Now I left this liner piece a little bit longer because I want to cover my seam on the inside. I've since come up with a better way to do this, but for this video, this is the way we're doing it. I didn't leave quite enough room for my seam allowance, so I'm just going to take a little bit out there for my seam allowance. Okay. So now I'm going to be putting my right sides together and I'm going to stitch that seam up the side. And I don't think you're going to see me sewing that so with the beauty of editing we can just go right to uh, the seam. <laughs> there it is. So I've stitched that and now I have a round bag. So this piece is actually going to fold over and I'm going to hand stitch that down. This is where I've come up with a better solution with my, um, so for when I do the Christmas bags, you'll see that. But I'm, and then I'm going to stitch all the way across the top. But for now, this worked really well. I just clipped that corner there so there would be less bulk. And there's a little bit of a uh, piece hanging there kind of going over the top that I don't want so I'm just going to clip that out too. Then nothing sticks out at the top because I want the top to be nice and clean all the way around. Okay so I'm just hand stitching that down and you won't see me do that but I'm just going to whip stitch it with a little needle and thread. Um, and then I'm going to stitch all the way around the top uh, for some top stitching. And this just kind of helps to hold the liner in and nice in place and it also gives it a nice look around the top edge to have some top stitching. I try to keep it as straight as I can. And this is my new Singer machine that I just love. I'll put a link to that in the uh, description just in case you're in the market. I love it. Okay, so here we have the bag now. It's been top stitched and I'm going to add the bottom on. So I have my circle. I'm going to keep it inside out there so my right sides are together. And I'm just going to start pinning 
this circle on the bottom. I'm just going to work my way around carefully and my pins are pretty close together. I want to have the least amount of pucker as I can. I know I'm going to have puckers and gathers and that's okay. It's the bottom of the bag and it doesn't have to be perfect in my opinion. But I can try to minimize those as much as possible. So now I'm just stitching and as I go along I'm just taking those pins out because I don't like to run over the pins. And I'm just carefully and slowly and taking my time stitching around the edge. Okay, so now that's sewn on, you can see there are some gathers and puckers, but it's not horrible, so I'm not going to redo it. And it's the bottom of the bag. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my scissor, and we need to give this a little give, so we're just going to cut some slits from the bottom up to close to the stitching. You don't want to cut through your stitching or you have a hole in your bag. So just cut up to that as close as you can and this gives it some play so it lays better and it's not as tight. Now I'm just turning my bag right side out. Isn't it cute? It says I brought the booze. And now we're gonna make the handles. So like I said these are 13 and a half inches long by 2 inches and I'm just going to cut or stitch around most of the way. So I'm leaving a gap on one side. I did that and now I'm turning it around. So I have this little handle. I pressed it and I'm going to be stitching, stop stitching on, on the top so that it lays nice and it's got the, the nice stitching all the way around. So there's that. Got it all stitched and it looks nice. And now I can attach it to the bag. So I'm just going to try to find the center here. And I don't measure this at all. I just eyeball it. I'm just going to pin it in there on each side. And then I'm going to sew like a little square. Or stitch, yeah. A little square. Um, on each handle. And this was a little awkward moving it around, but I was able to do it pretty easily. I love these bags. They're great for gifts. If you have to go to a party or any or your someone's house for supper or something and it doesn't have to be Halloween you can of course put any design on there and the designs um, are in my resource library so if you're an, already an email subscriber you can get those for free and if not all you have to do is subscribe to the email list and you can have these designs for free uh, for you to use in your Cricut or Silhouette so here's two bags that I made for Halloween and I just love the way they turned out. This was all scrap fabric like I said in the beginning and I just think they turned out really cute. I hope you guys will keep watching and be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much!